Hi guys, it's Eileen here and uh, we are going to be doing the um, first swap of January 2015. So yay! So for my swap, um, we need some bottle caps. So collect some bottle caps. Um, the next thing we do is uh, I like to open up my bottle caps a little bit, just flare them out a bit. So all you gotta do is kind of, I have this particular pliers, but any pliers does work. Um, so I just like these ones just a little bit better. So whatever, look for pliers that will, little hand, Hannibal ones that will, <laughs> that doesn't sound funny, but ones that will fit in your hands well, not too huge. Um, crafty pliers, not so much uh, manly work pliers. Anyway, so I just flare it out a bit and till I like it just like that and once I get the flare about what I like oops, sorry, then I get my tool that is like this, it's got a flat sharp end on, on the edge and I just uh, dig in there to get that rubber piece off because I try to boil them and it doesn't work. So that's the hardest part you have to do here is get that off. Um, I mean if you choose to decorate over it but I like to put my paper right down onto the the uh, bottle cap itself. So you could just pick those out and it's kind of like I said it's gonna be the hardest part and the part that takes the longest is just that. The fun part is once it's done and you have a nice clear section then you can start decorating. So you could grab your scrap paper whatnot, um, punch a circle or cut a circle about the size of your bottle cap. Punch a circle out if you like, if that's what you want to do. Um, make some, look at some designer papers or whatever, doodle whatever that's kind of cool looking so you have some choices of things to do <clears throat> different design paper um, I have shells here you can do whatever so and then you um, grab your paper this one's just a little larger than my bottle cap but I like it because it comes up to the side so you can have it just fitting at the bottom whatever you like you can trim it down and then I just roll my fingers in there or push them in there and kind of um, burnish it with my thumb to get it in there the best I can. You can use the um, stylus to burnish it as well. So if you have one or a bone folder and just get it in there and then it fits in there like that. You peel it out and you put your Mod Podge on it. And then, you know, you stick your Mod Podge in there. Or you, you stick the, the paper in there on the Mod Podge. So voila, just like that. So it's a nice little cute embellishment that you can do lots with. Um, I have used these embellishments for my birdhouses. I made little uh, it was the doorway of my birdhouse and I kind of made it look nesty so that was cool um, you can use them on other projects on canvases and stuff like that and I thought it'd be really cool to have a swap today <clears throat> for this first swap of the month of January you can put so much in here I'm going to show you some examples of ones that I've made here there's burlap inside there's paper behind there and burlap um, a foam egg that I painted gold, a styrofoam egg from the doll store I cut in half, a crown, and some moss. That's one. I'm um, just showing you some more paper here. You can edge the side of your paper so it's not white, but whatever, I didn't do that. So that's some of my papers. Um, here's one that I actually put on top of my um, tea light that Josie's challenge. I have a bottle cap underneath here that I flatten as well and then I have a tea light bottle cap that I made petals on if you can see and then I added a flower inside here so 
this is uh, from a punch, flower punch. Um, so that, you know, you can use it for that project I used it. This one has a nice jewel in it that I got from the dollar store and some pieces of floral, um, some evergreen spi uh, pine needles, heart, and I put the bling on there and I made a little mossy nest kind of like, you know, so it's cute. It's really, really cute and that can go on top of anything in the canvas or added to, like I said, a little birdhouse or whatever. <clears throat> Here's kind of a plainer one. This has got music paper in the back and I have a bee and I did put some brown and black ink on the bee and this is a toilet paper bee made with the toilet paper and I do have some burlap in the background. So I just thought, you know, doing little letters on something would be really cute. Here's another flower one and I have a green paper in the background and then I used my glitter glue to glitter it up. I add some bling and I added my punch flower to the side. This one would really look if I had a little koi cut out. Um, I could have found my kois and cut it out and put a little koi in there. It would be really cute. You can also put uh, whatever you want and then put some um, what is that called? Like the casting stuff in there. Here's another one I made with, I have paper in the background, kind of similar to this one. Um, it's a different damask um, um, pattern. I have my hot glue. I use hot glue for the for something different. Try it out for the frame. I'm not sure if I like hot glue, but hey, I mean, I used it because I tested it. So, I'm not going to throw it out. I painted it white with my painters. I did a little gold on it. I added a key. I have... Uh, burlap in the background. I have a little flower. I made almost like a little orchid. And if you could see, I made a little ends inside stick up like a little orchid. And that flower, a little black end. With the puffy paint. So, I mean, you can just play around with it. Now, isn't that cute? So, that's in the bottle cap. And my other one here is just burlap rolled up like material and some mesh tool here. And a pair of scissors on top. So, I mean, you can add a little needle, you can add, make a little ball of yarn and knitting needles for a little decor, you know, whatever. So that's cute. So these are just a few that I made here. So guys, just use your imagination and um, let's do this swap. So if you guys like to sign up for the swap in our group, International Crafters, yeah, you just uh, make a comment in the group. Um, for those who are just you know, watching it on YouTube, um, you can just try it out and uh, enjoy making these wonderful embellishments. So, if you're not in the group, you know, you can still play and have fun with all these stuff. So, give it a try, guys, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.